Hi, my name is Ryan from Super Hair Pieces. One of the most common questions with hair systems is whether you can work out or exercise with them on. This is a natural concern as nobody wants their hair system to come off or get damaged while working out. The short answer is... The short answer is yes, and I'm going to explain everything you need to know about working out with a hair system. Let's get started. It's important to remember that you should wait at least 24 to 48 hours until after your hair system is installed before you do any physical activities. This allows the adhesive bond to set and will ensure it remains in place well after you've installed it. As for which wigs or toothpaste, technically you can work out in any but it's not advised. What do you mean? There are certain base materials that don't fare so well with warmer climates or outdoor activities that result in sweating. This includes the thin skin poly units, which are not as breathable compared to a full lace or monofilament system. In addition, they can also stretch out, which can damage the base. But like we mentioned before, it's still doable and wearing a lightweight hat is a makeshift solution if you absolutely have to work out in a skin-based hair system. When it comes to wigs specifically, it is recommended to work out with shorter hair wigs. This is because long hair wigs can weigh down on the head and can also cause overheating. A way to get around this is wearing a lightweight cap and tying your hair into a low ponytail. It's also important to wear a wig cap underneath your wig if you aren't doing so already. This not only prevents your wigs from absorbing the sweat, but also dirt, oil, and moisture. One alternative is to use a wig specifically for the gym. This can be an inexpensive wig or an old wig solely meant for working out so you don't risk any damage to your more expensive human hair wigs. Overall though, most wigs should be safe to work out with. Adhesives play a major role. More than the hair system, however, it's the adhesive which plays a major role when you're working out or exercising as it keeps your hair system in place. We recommend using glue or tape as the method of attachment for securing your hair system if you plan on working out. While some wigs can be attached with clips, your natural hair is at risk of being pulled by the weight of the clips with all the movement you'll be doing. It's also important to use an adhesive that is water resistant, waterproof, and has a strong overall hold. With tapes, we recommend our own super tape, ultra hold tape, and extend the bond tape. These tapes all have a strong hold and can last up to three to four weeks. Additionally, they are all safe to use with poly or lace hair systems. With glue, we recommend the Safe Grip Glue, which uses a water base and is waterproof, bacteria resistant, and lasts up to two to three weeks. This particular glue works on poly units, but is best for any lace hair systems. All the links for the glues will be in the video description. I'm so used to saying in description down below is messing up my head. <laughs> How does heat and sweat affect the adhesive? As you sweat, heat is generated and this can cause your adhesive to weaken. However, you don't need to worry too much about this. With a reliable adhesive that has a strong hold, the bond will recure after your body temperature goes back to normal. Just ensure you're not sweating or working out again until it's been close to 24 hours at the very least. Does it get sweaty underneath the hair system? One major concern people have is what happens when you sweat underneath your hair pieces. Other than temporarily weakening your adhesive, you don't need to worry too much, but there are some things you can do to combat sweat, such as wearing a wig cap, applying a skin shield or scalp protector before applying the adhesive and hair system, or wearing a sweatband. If you find that your sweat is making the hair system have a strong smell when you remove it, check to see if you have a rash which could be caused by the adhesive. If you find that there's still a strong lingering smell when you are sweating, it is best to reach out to a doctor or dermatologist who specializes in sweating or odor to identify the root of the problem. Is it safe to swim with hair system on? It's completely fine to swim with a hair system, provided you do so 24 to 48 hours after your installation. Once that's done, exposure to water should be no problem regardless of the base. With that said, it is still not recommended to use a thin skin hair system. And one more thing to be wary of is excess exposure to chlorine, as this could potentially damage your wig or toupee. One way around that is to wear a swimming hat to provide protection for your hair system. To summarize, it is perfectly fine to work out, swim, or exercise with a hair system on. 
there are precautions and recommended practices you will need to follow. But overall, you should be good to go. So this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you need any further information, you can visit our website at superhairpieces.com. If you like this video, you can subscribe, turn your notifications on, and leave us a comment down below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.